Substituting sodium nitrate for potassium nitrate when it comes to antique muzzle loading propellant is something that goes back to the early 1800s. DuPont had a patent in 1857 using sodium nitrate and they called it blasting powder. Now, they really liked it because it was cheaper and easier to obtain than potassium nitrate, but overall throughout the years, it's been looked at as an inferior product compared to the potassium nitrate. Now, what I want to know is what kind of velocities will it give me and will it burn any cleaner than the potassium nitrate powder that we're using? So, I made up a batch at 77-13-10, which is the standard ratio that I use for my willow charcoal. And I milled it for 24 hours. And let me tell you, it flashes really slow and I didn't have high hopes for it. That sucks. So after seeing that, I decided to make another batch with 20% sodium nitrate and 80% potassium nitrate because I just figured the 100% sodium nitrate batch would be absolutely terrible. But other than that, I did everything the same. I compressed it, I corned it, I glazed it, all of the usual things that I do when making my antique muzzle loading propellant. And we took it out and we gave it a try. And I gotta tell you, the results are pretty interesting. And just like all my other tests, we're going to be using my 45 caliber Kibler SMR with 50 grains of powder, a 440 round ball, and a 20 thousandths patch. And each shot is primed with the same powder that we're testing. So first up is the 100% sodium nitrate batch. The 100% sodium. Okay. Slow flash. Slow flash. Terribly slow. But you know what it reminds me of, dare I say? Hi, my Rolex. Shot two with the sodium. Interesting. Low smoke. Interesting. It does not smoke that it much. It smokes more out of the pan than it does out the end of Correct. the barrel. Correct. All right, so here's the 20% sodium. Shot number two with the 20%. Okay. Oh, So here's the breakdown between the two of them. And as you can see with the 100% sodium, it flashed terribly slow, which I was expecting it to do, but I wasn't expecting it to have that good of velocity. It actually outperformed both GoX, my Willow powder, and my Eastern Red Cedar powder. 
Now, I wish I had some video of it, but I don't, but my brother did shoot it through his cap lock and it works exceptionally well. Now, the 20% sodium was a little strange because I had that one super high shot at 1780, which made no sense and it kind of threw us for a loop. But I took a fourth shot with it just to be safe. So I'm editing this video right now and I think I know what I did. I think I accidentally used some of my buckthorn powder when that 1780 shot happened because there's no other reason for it to be that fast. And the only two things that are that fast are my buckthorn powder and Swiss. And I was testing buckthorn powder later, so I'm pretty sure that's what happened. And, and pretty good too at 1686, which is 20 or so feet per second faster on average than my Willow powder, Eastern Red Cedar powder, and good old fashioned go -X. And as far as the fouling, it's a lot better than my usual powders and even better than go -X. Not by a lot, but a little bit. Um, as far as between the two, I would say that the 100% sodium powder has slightly less fouling. It still is nice and soft and easy to deal with, but I still am trying to figure out what it is that Swiss does to have their stuff burn so clean. Now, I've had a few subscribers tell me that the really what it is is the way they cook their charcoal. Because the way I make it is I just, you know, fill up my paint can and I throw it on my fire and when it's done, it's done. Uh, but I hear from these people that it, I'm basically cooking it at too hot a temperature. What that does to it that makes it have more fouling, I don't know. So if anybody knows, I'd love to hear it. So can you make antique muzzle loading propellant with sodium nitrate? Absolutely. And if you're using it in anything that has a cap, it's going to work absolutely just fine. Now, there is something that I probably should mention as far as the sodium nitrate is concerned. It is extremely hydroscopic, even more so than potassium nitrate. And I think one of the reasons why it might get a bad reputation for being inferior is it gets wet easy just from being exposed to open air. But just to give it its best chance for success, we threw a bunch of desiccant balls in a sealed container and put it in a cup in there so it wasn't exposed to the open air. So again, can you make antique muzzle loading propellant with sodium nitrate? Yes, 